We often say that column duration is a hybrid optimization method because uh, we decouple the primal solving and uh, the pricing problem, okay? You've got the master problem, the primal problem, okay? You solve it with linear programming, but nothing uh, is mandatory for solving the pricing problem. You could well solve solve the, 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 the pricing problem with dynamic programming, constraint programming, heuristics, whatever you want, okay? Uh, you don't even need to be exact unless you want to prove optimality, but as long as you are able to find something with a negative reduced cost, you can t continue uh, to loop. If you want to stop and claim optimality of the linear program, of course, you need an exact method for the pricing problem that proves that you have no negative reduced cost uh, solution for your pricing problem. So if you want to use column duration and be exact for uh, the initial cutting stock problem, what you need to do is use a search tree, okay? As we did for integer linear programs, okay? But instead of using uh, the, 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 the initial naive model for the relaxation, what we will use is column generation, okay? So at every step, if we discover that we still have uh, some fractional solutions, what we will do is branch to make the problem to, to 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 cut the problem into and one easy solution here is could be to say okay this pattern is fractional on the left branch i will uh, round it down and round it up on the right branch and i would say this pattern should be selected less than floor xj and larger on the right branch larger than cell xj this is quite a bad idea because uh, if you need to solve now this problem here, you need, to, you need to take into account that constraint. And it's quite difficult to say that uh, a pattern should be selected less than a sale this amount of value. Okay? Uh, if you do that, it has almost no impact on the bottom of the solution. Instead, what we will do is add constraints so that, uh, for instance, two planks must appear on the same pattern, okay? And so we will need to merge some patterns and on the right branch, we will say that they cannot appear on the same pattern, okay? And this is the type of constraint that we will add here to split the solution space in two for each node that we'll explore during the branch and price, okay? So column duration is the solving process in each node Okay, and when we split into the search space, this is why it's called branch and price. Okay, uh, this method is called branch and price when we explore a search tree and use column duration in each of the nodes. This column generation uh, approach is used for solving vehicle routing problems as well. Okay, so in vehicle routing, uh, you have a dipole and you have a set of vehicles here that are represented by trucks, and you need to to visit some customers, okay? And you want to minimize the amount of distance that you will travel with all the trucks, okay? In that case, you have three trucks. You want to minimize the total distance. And the trucks, they have a capacity, okay? And uh, you have some demands for each customers that you need to visit. And of course, for a given sub-circuit like this one, you cannot exceed the capacity of the truck. And so the goal is to visit every customer exactly once without violating the capacity of the trucks okay and you want to minimize the total distance this is called the vehicle routing problem you can solve that with column generation the way we will model that problem with column generation is here to use ci as the total length traveled by the truck number i okay and this will be a, a zero one variable to say if you select uh, if you select this sub-circuit or not, okay? So we will have a set of circuits, candidate circuits, and we can select it or not, and attach to each sub-circuit for the trucks, we have the total length here of the circuit, and so this corresponds to minimizing the total distance traveled by all the trucks. And of course, here in the pattern, for in the pattern in the columns, you will have an indicator value one, that is set to one for every customer that this sub-circuit is visiting, okay? So for instance, you see that this customer might be from some that one, and the blue pattern here is visiting that customer, and this is why we have a one. And uh, the coverage constraint means that you need to visit at least once every customer in your solution, 
and you do not want to exceed the capacity of the truck and this will be enforced by the columns here we make sure that the columns they never exceed the capacity of the trunks okay. and so this vehicle routing problem can be solved with uh, column generation as well uh, quite efficiently uh, so if you take the dual uh, to discover what could be the pricing problem okay the dual of that problem uh, you can do uh, apply the formula that i have shown before on how to get uh, the dual you've got this okay and so finding here a negative reduced cost column for the column generation problem amounts at finding a circuit that uh, has an objective function here less than zero the cost should be less than zero okay and it's exactly the same as finding a sub circuit here uh, so that the total length of the circuit minus uh, the collection okay the collection of the value that you will collect in each customer is less uh, than zero here okay and since you do not want to violate the capacity of uh, of the trucks this is actually a shortest path problem with resource constraint and it's the kind of problem that we met before uh, if you remember the lagrangian relaxation uh, approach that we have seen we were solving a sh shortest uh, path problem with resource constraint and it's, it's again the same problem that we have here we want to solve a shortest path problem with resource constraint as a, that will be the pricing problem that we need to solve to generate a new column uh, in the vehicle uh, problem with the column generation approach okay and so this is the final algorithm for the vehicle routing problem you've got the initial set of solutions okay some feasible tools you solve the restricted master problem you collect the dual variables you solve the pricing problem as uh, the, the the shortest path with resource constraint and if you are able to prove that uh, it has a negative reduced cost, you add it to the master problem. And otherwise, you stop and you prove optimality uh, here of your problem. During the practical uh, session, you will uh, apply column duration to solve another problem that is called the, the strawberry problem. Okay, And that problem is to use uh, greenhouses to enclose the strawberries that you have plant it in on the grid but you need to pay a fixed cost for each greenhouse that you will use okay and you also need to pay a cost of one unit per area that is covered so for instance here that one the, this greenhouse has a cost a fixed cost of 10 plus 6 because you have overall covered 6 units of area with this greenhouse and the goal here is will be to cover all the the strawberries at, with using a minimal amount of, of money 